Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the 0x871ab1 error code in Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to update Windows 11. To do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and then on the left pane make sure to click on Windows Update and afterwards on the right side make sure to click on the blue check for updates button. Now Windows will try to scan for the best possible updates and install them automatically. Lastly, restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. Another useful solution is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure to click on System on the left pane and then on the right side make sure to select the Troubleshoot category. Now in here, click on Other Troubleshooters and lastly, locate the Windows Update section and click on the Run button next to it. Windows will now try to find any issues and fix them as soon as possible. You can also perform a quick SFC scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and run command prompt as an administrator. Now, in the command prompt window, make sure to copy-paste or type the following command from the description below and then press enter after this command. Note that this scan can take a bit of time, so don't lose patience. Afterwards, just restart your PC and then you can check if the issue is solved. Another great solution is to run the Windows Update Service. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type services.msc and select it from the search results. Now in here, as you can see, the list is quite big, so if you want to find a specific service, just click on a random one and then type the first letter that corresponds to the service you're looking for. In our case, it's Windows and W. Now just scroll down until you find the Windows Update service, double-click on it to open the Properties window. In here, make sure to head over the startup type and click on the drop-down menu and select automatic. And lastly, if you see that the service status is set on stopped, make sure to click on the start button to start the service. Lastly, just click on apply and OK to save the changes. Then restart your PC and check if the issue still persists. And that's it. Plenty of solutions, isn't it? As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.